Yeah, <laughs> cursing the queen. <laughs> cursing the queen. Yeah, for no reason. What is the queen of you? The, the queen. The king. Elizabeth. The queen doesn't exist. Oh, it's the king. Man. It's the king now. She. Yeah, it's the king. She probably. Now he does now fuck playing, around. Playing with all the royal toys in the palace and shit. Imagine him. <laughs> Without <laughs> being the he king, has all the, the queen's toys. Yeah, dude, <laughs> like he's the king now. You know all the hidden champers in the fucking palace. <laughs> oh, it's like, <laughs> like that doesn't sound like a toothbrush. <laughs> like he got control of the fucking mansion yeah, now. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. That's yeah, uh, yeah. That's so interesting. But yeah, what, so what was the story of, um, about the, the Black Panther guy? This guy. Oh, oh! It's not a guy. It's it's it's, it's the queen of the tribe. Oh. And so so when the French people came to to Ghana and some other shores of Africa a long yes. time ago, yeah, some places were already like got Islamized by 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 how to say that by by economy and 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 caravans and trade. you know trade routes they got islamized and like a lot of africans like Correct. got introduced to islam by choice yeah. but in the same on the other hand like uh, the colonialism uh, movements and ideology was still like strong in europe so the the francas which is the french people that's yeah. what they used to call them a long time ago they like they had a good portion in africa you know like like the english and and the Portuguese and and etc. You know, so they they landed there and they found like this whole tribe is like they're not they don't want to convert to Christianity. So they were like they thought they they they're Muslims, but they were yeah. they're neither Muslims or Christians. So they got like the the queen of the tribe and they like and they got her naked and in front of all her people. You know, and they're like we're gonna kill you, and if we kill you. We're gonna prove that their God is wrong and our God is right. So she asked them, like, if you are, if you guys are like real civil, give me like three hours, just like, you just go to my tent and meditate and yeah. talk to my ancestors and stuff. Yeah. And she went to her tent and like she took a lot of time and they start wondering what's going on, you know. So they got like to 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 interfere and like expose the tent and then they saw this black panther leaving the tent and just like running in the wild mm. and that's the whole story about it so so if you turned into a black panther and some people say that it's it's a um uh, shape-shifting so uh, kind of st- and after state. that they were like banned they like witchcraft if you and then it. yeah they the the like the french people they like they claim that it's a witchcraft and a kind of a voodoo practice, but yeah. but it, I mean, I don't believe in 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 attaching everything to witchcraft and yeah. and, and voodoo and you know like witchcraft and in general, but but sometimes there's things happen we don't we don't have a proper explanation to it right, like right. but it doesn't mean that it's a witchcraft you know it doesn't mean that it doesn't exist yeah and especially in africa like cuz my i have like algerian blood and yeah. like algeria is like a big piece of desert, desert land in north of africa and it's just like the stories you hear about like the desert and like all those kind of uh, how to say that imaginary stories but has a lot of fantasy in it and yeah. like like horses can fly and shit and stuff like that just like make you wonder like either those people were like seeing wonders or they were just so bored to make stories no, that make them they, yeah, they they to survive you know they believe that Pegasus <laughs> existed but I mean the Pegasus has been in history for a long time bro I mean even dragons bro, yeah, bro. like in, in all cultures with different drones have you, you know? heard the story about the dragons and why do you don't know that they actually exist what is your story about dragons so they said that um, since dragons were like existed in so many cultures like the Asians have a fucking pictures about it like Africa has pictures mm. of it mm. like it's everywhere in history right mm. but the reason why we don't have proof that dragons actually exist because, because for them to actually exist for people to see them they had to be like the giant lizards flying mm. but the only reason why they could fly is because it, the bones were very hollow like birds right mm. so <clears throat> for a, a hollow bone that's why they don't, they don't have a lot of fossilized bones of like mm. ancient birds 
So if those things existed, since hit, um, like the, the, the way they decompose, mm. all their bones will actually turn into dust. Mm. And that's why we don't have any proof that they existed. But in ancient days, they probably did exist. I get your point. Which is crazy. Yes. So the, <laughs> the reason why we don't have fossils and traces for dragons because yeah. they're so squishy and weak. Not, not that it's the bones. Hollow. Is, yeah, the bones are hollow. So then when it, it decomposes, it just turns into. It's not like you can't have a. If you have natural bone or just thick and like strong, and so from like centuries, the dinosaur bones are still discovered. They, they turn into stone or rock. So that's a nice uh, story. Well. I mean, personally, personally, like, if you want to ask me, I don't think that we, if, like, discovered every single creature that right. lived on this planet. Like, not even the whole ocean. Like, we talk yeah. about Mars and the moon and the space and all of this sci-fi kind of, you know, yeah. mentality. But we never, like, finished the whole ocean discovery. Like, we only, like, explored 5% of the whole deep blue sea, you know? Yeah. And it makes you wonder, like, if we get the capability and the technology to d dive deeper in the ocean, what could we find? And like... The only technology that can allow that is, because right now we go into the sea with, like, um, these robot pods, mm -hmm. with, like, robot arms, and then we go mm -hmm. in and lift stuff, and then we put it. But we're not actually exploring, the because the, all around you is dark, mm -hmm. right? Yes. But you cannot go there and, like, actually look deeper, because we our form, human form cannot go that deep and sustain that pressure. But machines can. Yeah. yeah, but how how sophisticated do those machines have to be for us to actually explore explore the ocean? It takes time. You mean we can do that? We can do that when that the, the robot just, starts. That machine is just going to be a Tesla bot that's built to the full capabilities yeah. of a human being that yeah. doesn't need to come back every yeah. two hours for oxygen yes. and can stay there for like years, years and yeah. decades and just stay yeah. there and just. Like create like photos and underground uh, uh as a bunkers, you know like have you seen those pods like mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. like sci-fi is like underground, like kind of like how it would be in space but under the water. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> like, Imaginations. Uh, imagine. but anyways, that's the future. But I mean, if you can make a colony in Mars, yeah, you can make it under the under ocean. The ocean yeah. yeah, I mean, why not? I would say it, it's even more efficient than going to Mars. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I mean, a lot of people are gonna disagree, but it's just like it's here what, and Mars is there. When the, yeah. when, the, when the nukes start flying, yeah. I think the only safe place might be the water. Yeah. No. The the water, deep the water, water the deep water, the deep on the ground. Like He's talking on the about ground, the ground is gonna be bombarded with like nukes and stuff. Mm -hmm. And then if you go deeper into like the Mariana yeah. Trench, which is like yes. the, the, the planet. Yeah. The water is going to maybe shield you. I don't know how good it will be. If the water boils off, then we all die. But that means that you can never come back to the surface again. Eventually, you could. The nuclear waste is eventually going to wear away mm -hmm. at some point. Yeah. I mean, it could. It, it probably less like seven. Like, I mean, it's not. Chernobyl is still irradiated, bro. Key. If two nukes went off, yeah. there's nothing that's going to. Like you think the the planet is gonna split in half or no, dude, no, no, in no, half. no, 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 Earth can handle more than two nukes. Trust <laughs> yeah, me, you think bro. So? Yeah. Bro, positive, dude. I made my search. That's propaganda, dude. Okay. Yeah. That's propaganda. Yeah, at but the, the same cities time, are definitely gonna be destroyed. Uh -huh. Two nukes at the same time, within uh, three, dude. Even ten nukes. Dude. Okay. Earth can handle more than that. Trust me, dude. I see. All right. They, they already, they already. I mean, okay, dude, yes, hold on, hold on. I guess, I guess the fuckery that I'm worried about <laughs> fucking up this earth is now. So, so, so they already. Not being here after so that. they already made ex like like explosions in the oceans we don't know about like yeah. nuclear testings yeah. and it was more crucial than you think like yeah. big big mushroom clouds and no one even knew about it yeah and we're here we are now you yeah. know no one no one even talked like about when it when that guy with the, the german that this they actually created a nuclear bomb Mm -hmm. That guy, I don't know his name. Maybe I'll, I'll remember his name. But didn't he say that he's like the creator of, uh, uh, he, he, of like, hell he, or something? Something about like how he, he's created death or something like that. Like I forgot the quote. It's pretty fucking crazy. But yeah, they did like the test. That was like a giant fucking nuclear bomb, bro. Well, I mean, isn't it weird that the same day they dis oh, the atomic bomb discovered the nuclear bomb, they discovered LSD? <laughs> yeah. It's in the same day, dude. That's the same day. That's interesting, dude. On different 
spots on the planet. Like, so like, this is this is two choices you guys have. Do you choose enlightenment or do you choose, choose destruction? Prosperity? Destruction. Yeah. Yeah. That wasn't. Who said LSD is enlightenment? Bro, it is the most enlightened experience. Depends you about. Have in your yeah, life, depends bro. about. Who said I say that? <laughs> You've never had LSD. I guess I have. <laughs> and dude, Germany is full of LSD. My, no, That's the, the motherland. I mean, Switzerland and Germany. That's yeah, you can, you can. I mean, fuck it was. It's, it was. Uh, I would say legal, but I know mushrooms was. It's legal and uh, was legal in Amsterdam for like a long it's time. It's legal in Denver, Colorado. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. Now. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Denver, I think Oregon too, and Washington. Sheesh. I don't know, bro. Dude, it's a fucking wild experience, bro. Yeah. It's a crazy. It's it's literally. It's a lifetime. The most. So. And like the most. If you had a good experience, you're lucky. Some pe- a lot of people got like bad experiences and bad trips. Yeah, you know? Bad experience. Bad so experience it's is all... based on your mental. Your mental yeah, and, and your surroundings also, yeah, and yeah, your yeah. the people around you. You know, yeah. just like so. Imagine like doing shrooms with like like high school kids. You know, just like that's gonna ruin your trip for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> but I'm saying like yeah, uh, LSD can be enlightening. Can be profound, can be a life experience, and also can be a bad experience. Yeah, you know? it can yeah. be a red or a blue pill. Mm-hmm. A red or blue pill. It's all in your head, indeed. So yeah. Mostly, it's, it's blue. But if it clicks, it clicks. All right. <laughs> if 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 you jump like in cloud nine on LSD, that's it. You're yeah. there. It's yeah. just like a different life, different dimension. You know. Yeah. You taste different, differently. You smell differently. You talk. You hear. Everything is different. You know the sensation. Yeah, you understand. Like my my uh my first time fucking taking mushrooms, bro. Like I feel like I listen to music, but I don't listen to like music, bro. Energy, right? <laughs> I listen to music, and then there's like you hear different things when you're like, okay, I'm actually listening to what this person got to say. <laughs> <laughs> like a message, or, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. something within. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. And, Totally understand that. Yeah. Interesting. That's why, again, I say our brains are very powerful. Yeah, it's crazy. Mm-hmm. We're only using 10% yeah. of it. What if we lose, like, 11%? They can make up shit that do not even exist. That nah, shit exists, bro. And you always can control the shit that your brain can make. I think it's better to know that you can control your brain than not know that you can Exactly. I mean, once your brain tricks you, then the, that's the sarcasm yeah. when it starts. Like people that are like, yeah. people that are like, grew up in like, um, like spiritual houses or whatever, mm. and you're walking in the like in the hallway and it's like dark and shit, and you feel like something is following you or something in front of you. Yeah, exactly. So that's all in your head, but you don't know that you can control it if you've never been experiencing that type of shit. What the fuck? Director, uh, all right, we're back. I'm sorry about that. I'm going off in the middle of a shoot. Yeah, that was bad. That's, all right, go ahead. I'm professional. That was very bad. So what are you saying? Huh? What are you talking about? I forgot. <laughs> we're talking about aliens or something? We're talking about, about LSD. LSD. But anyways. LSD. Mushrooms is back in the way, bro. Psychedelics yeah, in general? Huh? Psychedelics, yes. Psychedelics yeah. is literally like the mind opener. Of, because you get more, you feel more connected to the planet, bro. Like you, your environment. You your sound like Joe are Rogan. Are more, uh, nah, this yeah. legit though. Like. Did you ever try the interview? <laughs> <laughs> it was like yeah. the first time. The first time I saw him saying that, I was like, "Dude, what? <laughs> why? Why are you saying it this way? Like, like you, you, you're destroying the repetition. Yeah, it should be sacred. Yeah. You know, yeah. you don't just push it to people like that. Yeah. Yeah. Did you ever try cashews? <laughs> <laughs> like, have you ever tried tangerines? Yeah, kind of shit. It's and not it's like, like that. It's just, like, shh, no, man. Yeah, don't tell anybody. It's that's a, a thing. Yeah, that's a secret. Not, not everyone gonna blast. Even people have DMT, they couldn't go to that trip. Yeah. You know, yeah. it just like it's a secret that's it's something that you have to look for I don't think it's something that you, you just like it's not like weed where your friends are just smoking and like oh here's a fucking joint I totally like that's a whole different experience. yeah but DMT is like, spiritual like like I felt like weird <laughs> sensation DMT like this um, this repetitive trip I always had on, on DMT like when I smoke it with three people and you look at one of your friends face and it's like three faces on top of each other <laughs> 
And it's just like, every time that happens, it just like, it's make you think that, dang, we are in a simulation. Bro, right? for real, dude. We are in a fucking simulation. Yeah. Right? <laughs> like, like, you can see patterns in every human being. Like, 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 yeah, like, a, like a soul, and then like something between the soul and the body, yeah. and then the body, and just yeah. like, wow, bro, what is I, that? We're not just I, fucking like, we're not, bro, there's all electric waves, bro. Yeah, yeah. I heard, I yeah. heard a conspiracy that low key yeah. in the hospitals and in like, really really deep places when someone dies or like when someone is dead and they usually put the coffin and say they bury the person yeah the person is usually not buried for real yeah they left in the hospital transported to something else no it goes into another being another location something something Dude. happens to the body Could just like imagine this bro. Or brought back up so wait so the people that are buried are not actually in the ground correct why the fuck do we have skeletons then what do you mean skeletons? Like, if you're saying the person... Yeah, the so, is, yes, there are the, people the, the, that get legit body. buried. There are people that get legit buried, uh -huh. mm -hmm. but there are people... That, there's people making now, like like a toy factory. Like... What the fuck? Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> You mean like we'll there's deeper, people already we'll in the hospitals who's dying and then then their consciousness they just take the organs preserved. yeah they take the organs yeah. they, they they repurpose people yeah oh yeah 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 I mean that's a uh, organ donation yeah organ donation but like extreme organ donation like so like they're gonna that, preserve that the consciousness actually, yeah I mean that's what's like matter your mind is what's matter soul in that body correct. There's no fucking yes. way, dude. They can put soul in that body? Yes. Know, so how to capture the soul? I, I have no fucking clue. No, you can't do that. That's, a, that's, a conspiracy. <laughs> that's, 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 about, that's stupid conspiracy to me. It's a conspiracy. There's no fucking way. I just don't yes. know where's your source <laughs> of getting conspiracies, bro, but that's a stupid cause, one. Because cause, I'll tell you something. Cause, hey, cause hey, people, hey. Yeah. people believe that the soul can also be made. Yeah, but I mean, mm. hey, hey, what is consciousness? Is it is it your brain what's holding the consciousness? We don't know. Okay. What is it? You don't know what it is. Yeah, what 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 is consciousness? It's w who you wake up every day and mm -hmm. start asking the same questions. That's Yeah, of course. Like I feel like every day when I wake up, I'm not the same person from yesterday. Mm. So like even though all the things that happened yesterday, some of the things I remember. Exactly. Yeah. It, that doesn't necessarily make me feel like all the things that happened from yesterday is me. Mm. Mm. Then who is? Just updated. Yes. The old you, you mean? Not necessarily so the he, old he's, me. He's it's just Luke version one thousand. Well, well, exactly. Yeah. Version, Luke one thousand. So that depends. Me. So if you want to think about it, every second, then that's going to be billions. Yeah. But mm -hmm. it depends how long it takes to update, right? right. Like, is it yearly? And that's why, hours, again, bro. humans, it makes sense to say that yes, eight hours a week, a year, and that's kind of making sense to us as humans to yeah. update. Yeah. But as spirits or as a soul, as a con it's a conscious updating, right? Like every second, every minute that goes on, you're yeah. always updating. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, so what I said the past five minutes might not even reflect my true self, like yeah. me, like, but it's just something that came into my system and I updated by saying it. Yes. Yeah, it's not something that's running in your head. It's just something I think about. Exactly. Like, in, in I just moments, said, yeah. It just happens. Yeah. And that is kind of like life. But then when you make it a repetitive process, you get a place, like, you make it stay at a place, hunt, gather, mm. come, like, now it's repetitive. And Are you talking about your choices or your actions? I'm talking about general life. <laughs> Everything that's repetitive makes sense. Everything that's not doesn't really make sense. It doesn't no, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. There's a lot of things right. that is not repetitive. Uh -huh. It makes the total sense for right. that for that moment, for that uh, time zone, for that action, for that uh, uh, you know story. Like what? I mean, you said it. It have to be repetitive to make sense. Uh -huh. So if if for example, if someone. Uh, uh, helped someone in the street or or, said, or pushed something out of something or oh god knows like whatever happened like you know and you did it for a reason for a reason that you think is useful and this reason gonna help people so it doesn't mean that it have to be re repetitive you you were doing everything every day and it, there's no pattern like there is you, a pattern that's I mean, what we just that's established. what you think it, it's a pattern but sometimes it doesn't mean to have a pattern but it mean it, it can 
And that's what I'm saying. If we put a pattern on it, then we make it make sense. I'm not saying... Yeah, you're saying we, everything we, that can be... We, when we find a pattern, then it makes sense. Mm. Mm. When we don't find a pattern, it doesn't make sense. Right, because you, you, you don't just go around giving people money randomly like that. No, sometimes you do that. I've seen yeah, that. I've that seen, I witnessed that. I witness people give money for no reason. I witness... Like, human beings have no pattern. We are the most random... Uh, dynamic organ that's work on the walk yeah. on this earth, and we you cannot predict our uh, actions or yeah. our political opinions or our uh, whatever opinion you know we have. Like today we're happy, tomorrow we're sad. When we're, we're when we're hungry, we're happy. Sometimes we have food, we're sad. Like nothing but makes sense this, to humans. All of this happens within the structure of you wake up, you go to bed, you wake up, you go to bed, you wake up, you go to bed. Well, when you wake up, some people they go to sleep. You understand? Yeah, but still, the, 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 there's a pattern. We like there's we cannot you exist have a choice. Where you can just like be like, oh, I'm just gonna fucking stay up for thirty seven. Oh, Some people do. Straight. Some people do. That's what I'm trying to yeah, tell that's you. Part of the Life ordinary. is so big that you cannot decide yeah. what is the pattern. And that that doesn't make sense yes. for you. Out, it doesn't make ordinary. sense, but for other people, they like. For I will give you example. Like college students, I know a lot of college students. They don't have sleeping patterns. Uh-huh. They just like some people. Some some of them they sleep for two days. Some of them they stay for two days, and it goes on. And like, and, and that's all and based that's, the, the reason they're doing that is based on the pat the, the current pattern they find themselves it's, even though it's not a pattern like it's not the normal them, pattern that every yes I'm not saying that it has to be like the daily pattern that makes sense to me I'm saying that everybody like has if a you, yeah if you find a your pattern makes sense to you mm. if it's not a pattern to you then it's not a, doesn't make sense like like Eric wants to go work out and him going to the gym and lifting weights mm. makes sense to him that's his pattern my my pattern is sitting behind my computer and trying to figure out how to finish, how to code something, or how to mm. figure out how to code something. That's the way that makes sense to me. Yeah. So it's all based on... It's it. all based on patterns that make sense to you. That's yeah. kind of where I was coming at. Not necessarily, like, that everyone has a certain set mm. of patterns that they follow. Mm. There's so many patterns in the world, and I if you totally identify understand. what makes sense to you, that's what you follow. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's subjective also. Exactly. Yeah. But that's not what I was saying. <laughs> I was saying that humans uh, cannot pre- have a predictive pattern. Right. We're so random. No, yeah. everyone is predictable. People, 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 but that's the thing. We say that no, humans cannot have a predictable par- pattern, but yeah. we give us, the, they just put this on you and then they lump you up with a uh, hundred million other people yeah. and like legit, yeah. they can identify you. Yeah. And you think you're not, you, yeah, you're that, you're yeah. that unique? Yeah, literally, you have a pattern every day. Literally, you, you wake up at a certain time, you check your phone at a certain time, you go to work at a certain time, you come home at a certain time, you go to bed at a certain yep. time, you eat at certain times. You talk to certain people at certain times, yes. certain days. So everything that you do, even though it might not be like something that I do on a daily basis, they can tell you or based on data of what you do on a, on a regular yes, basis. Yes, that's true, but still, it can be it's all determined by your job or your the place of your exactly. living. Exactly. So the matrix well, in which you yeah, go what in. What I'm saying, if you escape out of the matrix... How do we escape out of the matrix, bro? It's financial freedom. Okay, how do we fucking actually... Achieve form? financial freedom? There's a lot of ways to achieve financial freedom. It's all about how your morals and what you believe in. I mean... Mm. If you have, if you're all green, and I mean, I mean, all green, like, that's like you're accepting to get income from all ways and yeah. all kinds and all uh, legal and illegal methods. Right. You know, yes. I mean, some people have that moral, uh, uh, how to say that acceptance in them, like they they they, they agree to, to 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 gain with that way. But yeah. I mean, for me, I, I have I uh, I'm I'm more like how to say that. Uh, conservative about it so it's just like for me it's limited way how i can make money so it's it's more limited for me so the percentage is lower than a person who have more ways to right. to gather his fortune you know right so for you eric is what is your morals what do you believe in you know like some people will go and like trade in you know yeah. even body organs you know and they or 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 weapons or whatever you know just like name it you know yeah so how much you can risk it? How you? much? How how willing are you to risk? Yeah, it? your morals or yeah. your, your your human side. Right to, to break to, out of the matrix. So. Yeah, to break out of the matrix. So you you have to. So what you are basically saying is that in order to break out of the matrix, you have to sacrifice some part of being a human. 
Yeah. Yeah, you have to break out because the, 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 I believe the matrix is the structure that has been created for people to live. The living standard that someone is like, this is how you're supposed to live. So yeah. wake up and go to work every day. Yeah. You know, and they told you the morals yes. already. Yeah. They told you what makes yeah. you a human. These are, guideline, these are the guidelines that you need to live by. And yeah. those guidelines might limit you, but that guideline is what... Going to keep you in the matrix. Yes. Yeah. And so the moment you break out of that mindset, like, screw it, I don't give a shit, because people actually go out and then plan a whole five years plan of how to rob a bank and then go rob it, and that's how they decide that they don't want to fucking work on them. Follow the matrix. <laughs> <laughs> you have no, a point. No comment. No comment. Yeah, yeah so point. everybody, it's all based on how you, you actually, I guess... How far you can take it. How far you can take it. Oh, how, shit. How willing, that's what really are you shit. willing to do to fucking actually sustain yourself without having to play by someone else's rules? Mm. That's how you get out of the Matrix. Yeah. You heard it all here on the Zero Fox podcast. <laughs>